On behalf of Tony and Josephine Suka, Queensland General Manager Mike Curry, and the Bill Corp leadership team in Queensland, thank you for joining us at our fifth annual Bill Corp Rugby Lunch in Queensland. We're also delighted to be able to host today's lunch at the brand new redeveloped National Rugby Training Centre here at Ballymore. The first home for women's rugby here with the Wallaroos. It's a credit to, to the people in the room to have a, a, a precinct like this, you know, a building like this. The quality of the finish is first class. So Bill Corp, you know, Michael Rayner, Blight Rayner and RPS, it's all been a, a partnership. Congratulations to you guys for doing this because I think the relationship from my observation between Bill Corp and the QAU, it's for the time. Relationship development matters. We're all bonded by, by rugby, regardless of what colour jersey we wear, what position we played. It's, it's just something you, you can't describe. We're trying to create that, I guess, next level of training and preparation in for the, the 2024 uh, Paris Paralympic Games and hopefully we can bring home another Paralympic gold medal. Build Corp, engaging with not only the disability community, now you're building up women's sport, but I think, you know, obviously women's rugby as well, and I think is absolutely huge. And I think they're very lucky to have a company like Build Corp on board with them. You can't afford a bad performance in a World Cup. And it doesn't matter if you win or lose a pool game, it's building that momentum and that confidence as a team. That, that's what really gives you that impetus going into the knockout stages. And I think this group can do that if they, if they want it enough to now be a part of a movement and what is going to be a golden decade of rugby for both men and women is extremely exciting. And this facility is going to play a massive role in it. It's now a home for women's rugby. This afternoon, we've experienced a masterclass. That discussion that was around diversity and inclusion you know, very much, I think, touches the soul and, and brings humanity back into, into the room and back into our lives.